Welcome to our power quality improvement technique. Today we are going to discuss the source of the power quality. I just left that portion while discussing, I will some two, one or two slide maybe a repetition that you know what are the source of the power quality. Major source of course as I have discussed in a previous class that is a switching operation, maybe you on a capacitor for rectifying the power factor and the power system fault and the lighting. And this is the utility, utility sites of the meter that includes these entities that is a problem of the power quality and that is mainly the reactive power and the active power problem. And thereafter there is a harmonic problem mainly. This is the category of the inducers includes nonlinear load, poor grounding that is the oscillation of the neutral and the electromagnetic interference and the static electricity. We shall cover these entities in our subsequent discussion. So, as we have discussed also uh, we just revisit the sources of the power quality here please understand that this abbreviation is considered as power quality not uh, reactive power and active power. So, for uh, I have I am using it and this is not a standard notation also. So, please do not please use it for sake of our abbreviation I am making this abbreviation. Uh, power quality problem on the utility side of the meter involve some time of activity uh, some time of the utility of the electrical system. They can be either man made or the natural events and they, uh, they all involve some type of interruption of the current voltage. The most common man made causes are switching operation that we have seen day to day life, switching of the capacitor, switching of the uh, uh, fax devices, TCSC all those devices, then this is a part of the switching devices. Utility switch equipments can on and off by the breakers, you can if you have a fault then op breaker will operate. Usually some type of fault and other power system uh, in this cases breaker strips and there will be a, there will be uh, your problem of the web and thus may cause high voltage into a system. Utility trips breakers to perform routine maintenance also sometime and they also trip breaker to insert capacitor to improve the power quality. So, in all those cases we have a switching operation and it, it is if it is a transient fine it is a transient problem and sometime this oscillation may be sustained due to the undamped nature of the power system. And there is a lighting striking, uh, striking on the power line of the subsystem which we have discussed this thing and let us see that this is the uh, utility circuit breaker and this is the utility power improve power factor improvement capacitor. These two entity generally are the switching element and thus cause some time that it is a necessary entity because power factor required to be improved. But while inserting it you may cause a ferroresonance and also while you are making or breaking these devices then also some problem of power quality may be present. So, you, you, we are talking about first the utility side there it will talk about the consumer side also. Utility activity that can cause oscillatory transient is the switching of the power factor improvement capacitor. So, that is one of the main demerits and that frequency will superimpose your power supply and thus you will have a sag sometime and soil sometime this kind of voltage may come. Utility uses power factor improvement capacitor to improve the power factor by adding capacitor reactance to the power system. This causes current and voltage to be in a phase and thus reduces the losses in the power system. 
when utilities insert capacitors in the power system they momentarily causes an increase in voltage and the transient. Capacitor if tuned to the harmonic on the power system can also amplify the harmonics that is also a problem. This is especially true if utility and the user both switch their capacitor on the same time and thus have a quite detrimental effect on it. And let us see that end user side sources of the power quality problem on the end user sides of the meter usually involve the disruption of the sinusoidal voltage and current delivered to their end user by the utility. So, I as a consumer supposed to get sinusoidal voltage and current I am not getting it. This disruption can damage or cause misoperation of the sensitive electronic equipments. You may be listening a very uh, very minor uh, very high clarity speakers from Bose and that may be disrupted by the uh, ill supply or contaminated power supply. Of the sensitive electronic equipment in not only the end users facility, but also the end users facility that the electrically connected. So, it will affect also the neighborhood. So, the following are the list of the power quality problem can be caused by the users nonlinear inrush current from the startup of the large motor, static electricity that is something we will see after that static electricity may damage your, uh, your, your sophisticated devices and then that may come for the any reason by frictions. So, for this reason you know when the power, uh, power electronics engineers are shouldering the sensitive electronic equipment they are asked to wear the wristband. So, their body is fully discharged and lag and required to sit on the uh, discharging uh, uh, the legs has to be put on the steel plate something like that. So, that he is totally discharged. Power factor improvement uh, capacitors sometime amplifies harmonic that we will see later because it may cause a resonance of a particular harmonic. Poor wiring and the ground technique also cause to the oscillations of this neutral point and moreover is impedance of one line is more another line is less then there we have voltage unbalance. So, from this unbalance also there is the issues of the power quality. Now, the nonlinear load there are uh, there are today many types of nonlinear loads. All these devices change a smooth sinusoidal wave into the regular into the irregular distorted waveforms. These distorted waveforms produce harmonics. They include all type of electronic components. For example, SMPS and the adjustable speed drives rectified in water arc welding we have discussed in detail in a, our class. So, now we wanted to show something most of the electronic devices are switch mode power supplies that produces harmonics. The manufacturer of the electronic component have to found that they can eliminate filter and eliminate power supply transformer and by the use of the switch mode power supply. And what is switch mode power supply and how does it produce harmonics? The switch mode power supply uh, processes converter because you have a laptop charger, desktop charger all are this quantity converter AC to DC using the rectifier which first 
converts back to uh, DC to AC with the high frequency switches and steps the steps down generally steps up or down the AC voltage down to the 5 volt using a small high frequency transformer. So, this is the case of the normal uh, power supply where this transformer is at 50 hertz, but generally inside it there will be a DC to DC converter and that will be operated at high frequency and for this reason they are being used. So, the SMPS finally connect to the AC to DC using the another rectifier and generally it has to be synchronous rectifier because diode gives you 0.7 volt DOP. So, to reduce the DOP there is a mechanism the electronic equipments requires 5 volt DC to operate it. Inside a switch mode power supply and and will find the switching switching circuit that takes distorted energy from the capacitor in short pulses and delivers voltage at a frequency of generally quite high 20 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz. So, that the compactness of the transformer can be addressed. This high frequency switching requires small little transformer light transformer. However, the pulse square wave distorts the sine wave and produces the harmony in that way. So, for this reason all your laptop charger and all those entity unless they are put into the power factor rectification technique they will have those problem. And apart from that adjustable speed drive saves energy adjusting the speed of the motor to fit the load. However, the adjustable speed drive cause the harmonics by varying the fundamental frequency and to vary the speed it may have a V by F control. Once we have a V by F control this ratio required to be maintained constant. So, that flux almost remains constant and thus what happen you can have a variable frequency operation and arc firmless uses extreme heat to melt the metal the furnace uses the electrical arc striking from the high voltage electrode to the ground metal to create the extreme heat. The arc is extinguished every half cycle the short circuit to ground causes voltage to dip each of the cycle it strike and moreover this causes the light to flicker at a frequency less than 50 to 60 hertz in case of India it is 50 hertz and that is irritating to the human beings and arc functions also generate harmonic current. So, that is also a problem this is an example of the arc furnace. Now most popular nonlinear load not only generate harmonics, but can cause a low power factor and they cause low power factor by shifting the phase angle between voltage and current. So, what is power factor you know very well just sake of recap the power factor is a way to measure the amount of the reactive power required to supply by an electrical system by the end user facility active and reactive both reactive power represents waste of electrical energy because it is not useful for work. Inductive loads require reactive power constitute the major portion of the power supply power, power consumed in the industrial plant motor transformer fluorescent light arc welding etcetera and the induction heating furnace and all uses this reactive power. The power factor also is also a way of measuring the phase difference between the voltage and current. Just as a rotating alternating current the voltage can be represented by a sine wave 
the phase difference between the voltage and current can be represented by the cosine of the phase angle. So, we can represent it as a phasor. Nonlinear load what does it do? Often shift the phase angle between the load current and the load voltage and requires because you know you change the firing angle of the alpha of a full control converter and you see that there is a distortion uh, dist displacement power factor and thus what happen your power factor get retroviated and require reactive power to serve them and causes low power factor. Moreover, linear motor loads require reactive power to turn the rotating magnetic field in the motor and cause low power factor. Nonlinear and the linear load that can cause low power factor includes induction motor of all types, motor electronic power converter, arc welding machines, electric uh, electric arc welding machines and the induction furnace and fractulations uh, uh, fluorescents and the other type of arc lighting. So, this is the example of the voltage and current they have a phase of phi and thus what happen? So, this is the your this angle phi cos of it is a power factor, power factor is, is essentially the active power in watt and apparent power in kVA and its ratio. Active power in the active power is a power to do the useful work such as turning motor or running pump and is measured in kilowatts or megawatt whatever may be. The electrical equipments uh, needs active power to convert electrical energy into the mechanical energy. Reactive power is required to provide a magnetic field to ferromagnetic equipments like motor and transformer and does not do any useful work, but you require to feed it that is the issue and it comes once you convert and reconvert. Reactive power is measured in the kilovolt uh, generally uh, kilovolt ampere uh, reactive or kVRs. So, apparent power is a demand power is the total power needed to serve a load. It measures in kilowatt ampere kVA and is the vector sum of this kVA square equal to kilowatt square plus kVA square reactive power takes the capacity of the utility and the user electrical distribution system. Reactive power also increases the transmission and the distribution loss. Why? Because you know you require to fit more if your KVA rating generally same generally you will find that transformer and all those entity are rated the KV rating. If you if the power factor is less you require to fit more current to meet that demand and thus what happened thus since you require to fit more current to all the losses related with the current will increase. The reactive power is frequently described analogous to foam of the beer mock or uh, coffee mock. So, this foam part is something that uh, it, it is not the liquid rather foam that is the example of it. It comes with the beer and takes up the capacity of the mock or coffee and does not quench the beer thinker thrust and as can be seen from the power angle in figure 4 that power factor measures the reactive, uh, reactive efficiency of the power system. The maximum efficiency of the reactive power is 0 and the power factor then becomes unity. As a general rule the electrical system using the motor exhibits low power factor. 
the low power factor results in overall low power system efficiency including increasing the conductors and the transformer losses and low voltage low power factor also reduces the line and the transformer capacity. For this reason we require to put that power factor correcting capacitor, but that itself has a many problem we have already discussed few. Utility must supply both the active and the reactive power and compensate for the losses. For this reason most utilities charge their consumer a penalty for low power factor. And now metering has been done nowadays for the industrial houses with <coughs> KVA apparent power. Many utility increases the demand charge for every percent of every percent the power factor drops below a set value say 95 percent. This is the part of the standard we have taken and discussed a different uh, class on standard. So, if it is not validated standard then utility can punish the consumers and or if the utility does not provide the quality power then consumer can take legal action against them. However, more and more utilities are charging for the KVR hours just like the charge for the kilowatt hours that is what I was saying. This charges provided provide utility customer an incentive to increase their power factor by use of the power factor improvement capacitor or any other means. Otherwise the utility has to install the power factor improvement capacitor for its own system, but how do the capacitor inputs the power factor that is also you know. The improving power factor can be accomplished through the addition of the shunt capacitance. Now I am coming later what is the problem of having a shunt capacitor into the system. However, more and more utilities are charging for the KVR hours. So, see that this is example. So, this is the kilowatt and you have a old KVA and ultimately due to this capacitor bank you have injected this much of KVA. So, new corrected KVA is this much and uncorrected KVA is this much. So, new power factor can be made close to 0 by properly tuning this uh, reactive bar and the capacitive bar. Power factor improvement capacitor improve the power factor by providing the reactive power needed by the load. They also reduce the phase shift difference between the voltage and current. Like a battery this also store the energy. Unlike battery they store the energy in a thin metal foil separated by the sheet of the polymer materials. And what happens they release the energy in every half cycle. So, they st store the energy and discharges the energy in that way it compensate just opposite what happened with the inductor and ultimately gives you the better power factor. The cause of the current to lead the voltage by 90 degree this subtracts from the phase angle sheet by induction loads that cause the current to lack the voltage by 90 degree you know that. This is how the capacitor reduces the phase shift between the current and voltage and provide magnetization that the motor and the transformer need to operate. So, these required to be placed. Therefore, capacitors are the are an inexpensive way to provide reactive power to the load and gives you a better power factor into the system. Moreover, what they do they supply the reactive 
magnetize power required by the electric loads especially the industrial loads that uses the induct that uses the inductive motors or the induction machines. Motor with their inductive magnetizing reactive power cause current to lag behind the voltage. Capacitor creates leading current, capacitor acts as opposition to the inductive loads thereby minimizing the reactive power required by this industrial load. When carefully controlled the capacitor can lead capacitor lead can match the motor lag and eliminate the need for reactive power and increase the power factor towards utility that is something we are aspiring to. Now, there is a case of fixing dyna uh, both fixed and the dynamic shunt capacitor. Generally, it is comes into the module as we have shown in the pictures. So, once you turn on the capacitor bank, it can give you the 100 kVR or 500 kVR something like that. So, based on that you should have a historical data. So, how much power factor generally dips in evening or the peak demands when occurs. Accordingly, you will be switching on and switching off your capacitor bank the apply to the inductive loads increase the power factor fixed capacitors are switched on manually. We have discussed in detail of inserting the capacitor in case of the fax devices classes. So, you are requested to go through those fax devices classes and apply a constant capacitor. Dynamic capacitor can be switched on automatically and adjust their capacitance according to the inductive load. So, generally if you require let us say 13.6 MVA and this quantity will change almost every half an hour. So, generally 13 will come from the static devices and you know that there may be a 20 percent variation of it that 20 percent variations of this value may be coming from this automated switches capacitor bank. Both type have advantage and disadvantage we have discussed in detail uh, in our fax devices class. So, please go through that lecture is available in YouTube, but both provides similar benefits in rising the power factor, shunt capacitor releases energy to the system, rises the system voltage, reduces the system loss and ultimately reduce the power costs and the cost of the power to the utility. However, there is a many downside of this capacitor. They can amplify the harmonic through the harmonic resonance this is one of it there is a plenty of disadvantage of this capacitor. Thank you for your attention I shall continue to our discussions on the sources and its effect of the power quality in next class.